Hi everybody, I wanted to do a segment on veggie burgers because I typically make my own and they're not hard at all. Um, so I wanted to kind of share with you my basics. Of course I change the flavors up all the time. Uh, today I'm gonna be doing more of a spinach and black bean one with almost like a little bit of a Mexican flavor. I'm gonna add some chili powder and things like that. But you can literally take the basics and then formulate it however you want to. I've used white beans before instead of the black beans and I've made it more Mediterranean with sun-dried tomatoes and zucchini and things like that. So you can literally kind of change it up however you want to but uh, today I'm just going to show you the basic part about it and then you can change the flavor combination as, you, as you'd like so quinoa is normally my base of my veggie burger what I try to do with my veggie patties is that they are my meal they're my meat replacement I shouldn't say meal they're my meat replacement in whatever meal I'm making sometimes I'll have them as a burger with the whole bun and everything like that sometimes I'll just top them on top of a salad or basically I'll have them like with eggs in the morning. So it just kind of depends upon my meal and what I'm doing with them. Um, but they normally start as quinoa. So um, I've already cooked some quinoa. You guys don't need to see that, it's pretty damn boring. Um, I have about a half a pound of quinoa here in the bowl. See, just quinoa, nothing special. Um, in addition to the quinoa, what I'm gonna do is I've chopped up some spinach. Um, and I've, I've diced it. It's, it's not super chunky, but it's also not super fine. Um, as we all know, <laughs> spinach cooks down to nothing when you make it. So you always feel like you're adding too much. Don't worry about that. Um, I probably add about, I would probably say today is about a cup and a half to two cups of spinach that I'm going to put in there. And then, like I said earlier, I'm going to add black beans. So what I did beforehand um, in my little um, handy dandy Cuisinart is I went ahead and I took half the can of black beans, I drained them, um, and then I took half the can of black beans and I pureed them. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take that very simple puree um, and basically put it right into the mix here. So that's the half a can of the beans is what I'm doing. And like I said, you can do this with white beans, garbanzo beans, I've done it all. Um, now I'm going to take the other can or the other half a can that's still there, the whole beans, and just dump them all in here so that there's some whole beans too. Um, so it has a little bit more texture to it. Now is when you're going to go ahead and add your spices. Um, I actually, I like heat, so I'm going to put a decent amount of chili pepper in there. I am going to go ahead and add some salt. And, um... The quinoa doesn't have a lot of flavor to it as far as that goes, so feel free to add things liberally. Spice it up as you'd like. As I drop that, <laughs> just as I'm grabbing my spice, I almost knocked my camera over. Um, go ahead and add, and I'm adding cracked, cracked ground pepper. So I'm gonna put it all in the bowl, and then I'm gonna take two eggs, because this is your binder, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the two eggs in there. You can see why this is a replacement for my protein. And then once the two eggs are added, all you're gonna do is mix it all together. I'm gonna grab a spoon. And while I am mixing it all together, that's when I go ahead and I just start the flame um, on my stove. The thing about it is you do have to cook them kind of hot because you don't want them to fall apart. So um, I get the flame going as I'm mixing. And then I'll add some, um, I'm adding some olive oil to fry them in. Uh, that's uh, my oil of choice that I use on these, but I've also used avocado oil, which is really good too. Um, and now I'm just gonna mix these ingredients together. And it's really about getting the egg um, everywhere so that it basically binds the quinoa with the spinach. So I just go ahead and mix it up. Now, um, I personally don't put any type of like fresh tomatoes in mine because that has a really high water content and you want the burgers to almost have a consistency that's a little bit dry you don't want them super wet um, otherwise they don't they don't cook and they don't stay together so once you blend all the ingredients together what I do and I'll show you this is kind of what it looks like when it's all said and done looks like a big thing of mush but it's really good <laughs> um, I have almond flour and then what I do with the almond flour um, is that I add it again so that it takes some of the moisture out. Um, this is about a cup of almond flour and what I'm going to do is just kind of mix it up in the bowl um, little by little to see because you don't want to add too much um, but it's kind of hard to know exactly how much it's going to absorb. 
So I just put about half in and I continue to mix it. And then once that is all mixed in, then I basically see if I need to add any more, and I do. The consistency is still kind of wet. Um, quinoa flour actually works well for this too. Whole wheat flour works well for it. Um, even oat flour I've used in the past. And um, by the way, if you don't have any oat flour and you want to try it, but you have oatmeal, just blend them up, puree them. That's all oat flour is. So once it kind of gets to a point where it has a little bit less moisture to it, I'm gonna go ahead and add the whole thing. So this is basically about a cup of almond flour that I've added to it, just to give you an idea. But I always like to check the ingredients as I do it because I don't wanna to put too much. Um, but I also like the almond flour because it adds a little bit of um, healthy fats to it um, and a little bit of protein, not a ton or anything like that, but because it's made from almonds, you get the benefit of the actual nut. So once everything is in here, it kind of looks like that. Like when we started, but just not quite as wet. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically, this is when it gets a little bit messy, is I'm going to put it into kind of just like a big meat ball kind of formulation. And then I'm going to put it in my pan and then I'm gonna squish it down flat like you would a burger. I'll show you that in a minute inside the pan. But I'm gonna go ahead and get these four going. Um, and you don't wanna make them super thin um, because you do want everything to cook through. Um, so like the quinoa is already cooked, I'm not worried about that. Uh, but I do want basically the, um, uh, the spinach to cook in there so that it's not so chewy and leafy. Um, and I want all the flavors to kind of meld together too. And so this will be the fourth one, or the third one, I should say. And we're just gonna kinda keep them all consistent. Um, when I cook these, the very first side that I'm cooking, I'll make sure it gets nice and toasty goldy brown um, because that way basically it will have kind of like a hard shell that everything else will then cook inside of um, and keep everything really nice and um, kind of juicy and flavorful um, that way. All right, so there is number four. I'm gonna go wash my hands, cause ew. And then, let me go ahead and show you what they look like to cook in the pan. So they are, let me see if I can flip it around right there so they look like just patties so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to go ahead and finish cooking them um, I will go ahead ooh, camera being weird I'm gonna go ahead and photograph the finished product and I'll put it on my uh, my Instagram page if you're not a follower on my Instagram play page please do so it's just under fusion dance fitness um, you can find it there and then that way you can follow it. Um, I post a lot of just still shots as well as recipes, fitness information, fitness motivation, things like that. Uh, so feel free to follow me on Instagram, but I'm going to basically have a, um, an after picture for you once they're all cooked. But as you can tell, it's really easy. Um, I mean, the timer's going right now. It's 8 minutes and 39 seconds. So it's not like it's something that's, that's going to take you a long time or anything like that. But this is your own healthy version of a veggie patty with no processed ingredients or anything like that in there because a lot of the store-bought ones, the frozen ones, I mean, they're preserved, they're made to last. So you're not getting basically the whole foods or like I say, eat dirty, which is get close to the source as possible, eat the most whole foods that you possibly can. And if you can get them from a farmer, that's even better. So like, for example, the spinach that I use is from my local farmer. Um, sometimes with the black beans, I'll do canned, sometimes I'll do dried, it just depends upon what we're doing. Uh, but this is a, it's a very easy way to do it and you can change the color, color, huh. you can change the flavor combination so that it's basically something new and different for you. Um, so you don't have to buy the frozen ones. These ones will last and everything like that. And you'll, um, they're, they have a lot more flavor and they're fun. Now my dogs are going to bark because welcome to my home. Anyway, good luck. Have fun.